guys, my name is Nairi and you can find me on the Adoption Family Life channel under Nairi Squires where I talk about everything relating to adopted, adopted family life and I have two adopted sons myself and I've been a foster carer so today we're going to be talking about how to build a bond of attachment really really quickly with a, a young adopted baby if you think that could be interesting to you or my channel then please just hit the pink subscribe button down below so how can you gather together those uh, sort of things that you can do to build that bond of attachment with a new baby and when I say a baby what sort of age am I talking about well let's just say should we under six months old so very much a baby in arms how are you going to kind of get that attachment really quickly bearing in mind of course that the baby has already potentially been taken away from a birth mother and a foster carer or just from a birth mother and has experienced significant trauma just in that happening because believe you me babies know they know exactly what's going on and they know that something has changed they know that their primary attachment giver caregiver has changed into somebody else and it may well be that your baby has been taken away from the mother because of other reasons not necessarily because of the care of the mother it could actually be because of the father um, the father role there's something in the relationship there which makes it too risky for the mother to care for the baby or maybe the, the mother has poor mental health there could be issues why the baby's been taken away and it might not mean that the baby the baby didn't have a good attachment with the, the actual birth mother. So clearly you're going to need to work really, really hard to build to build that uh, love and that bond and to build it really quickly. So how are you going to do that? So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to hold them close to you as often as you possibly can. And thankfully, the, the way that we think now about babies and, that, and how we act around them is very different. There's plenty of opportunity to buy yourself a baby sling or a baby carrier and to do baby wearing if you think that could be something that you're interested in. That's gonna keep your baby skin to skin with you as often as possible. Like bear in mind you need to watch your back and you have to sometimes take that baby out but it's a good way of keeping the baby close so you're going to keep the baby close that's the first point the second thing that you're going to do is you're always going to respond to the baby's cries as soon as you possibly can now some people have the thinking that this is going to spoil the baby and that's very much a traditional view possibly my generation maybe a little bit before me where people say no you need to leave the baby to cry so I'm here to tell you today is that that's not what you want to do that's that's the opposite of what you need to do. Clearly, there are going to be some times when you can't get to the baby quick enough and you might have a very restless baby that cries all the time. So I'm not suggesting that you wear yourself out and become exhausted, but I am suggesting that whenever you possibly can, you meet that baby's needs really, really quickly. And I've already uh, made one video on this about if you meet the needs of a child or baby really quickly, they begin to learn that you are going to become their safe and trusted attachment figure. So that is another way that you can do it by when you hear the baby cry, get to the baby quickly, pick the baby up and meet that need quickly. Try and work out what it is that the signals that they are trying to give you. Number three is they need to see your face often they need to see one pa person's face often and your eyes they need to work out who you are so there is sometimes a temptation to let lots of people help with the care especially if it's a little bit overwhelming in the early days and again you need to have the support network there i know but one thing that you need to do is for this child or baby that you've taken on to start recognize you if you're the primary attachment carer then they need to know who you are they need to be held by you often uh, if you're bottle feeding them they need to be fed by you often so try not to pass them around too much obviously if you have an, a partner or you know husband or wife or, or whoever the other one is then you want to share the care with them to a certain extent but in the very early days within the first few weeks it's really important that you do the caring as much as you possibly can because once that attachment is built with you, you will find it is going to be much easier to pass the baby on to someone else and they will not become so distressed because they're beginning to, be, to feel secure with you. Therefore, they can make their attachment with others. But with a very young baby, it's really, really essential that you are the one who is constantly meeting their needs as much as possible and that it's you. So the next point to say here as well is that 
Obviously, when a baby comes into a new environment, it's a new environment. So it's a new attachment figure and it's a new environment. So if at all possible, and my house is pretty hectic, so I'm not suggesting that this has to be a really quiet, you know, nothing going on house, but try not to have too many things thrown into the routine. Again, it's kind of tempt tempting to go out often every day to show off the new baby. It's tempting to go and see different family members and friends and to have lots of people in and out these are these are the things that we do because we're excited to have a new baby but i would suggest that you keep that routine really tight to you as your as your nucleus little family and that you build in a really good routine that the baby knows what's coming and there's not too many strange sights and sounds and noises being brought into the home so again that they can settle now Night times is always a tricky one, of course, because some people like to have, you know, babies in cots or whatever they like to do. Again, all I'm suggesting is whether you decide to have the baby alongside or you don't, wherever you decide to have the baby, you need to try and be able to respond to them as quickly as possible so that they know that you are going to be there for them at night time. Talk to them often sing to them often because something that we forget is that babies do recognize voice so they're going to recognize your face and get to know that you are their new person but they're also going to start to recognize your voice and we know that those who give birth to babies that the baby already recognizes the sound of the mother's voice and potentially the sound of other voices that have been familiar as well so there's exactly the same situation for an adopted baby they will become familiar with your voice so as well as holding them as, as well as responding quickly to them, having them near to you, you need to be using your voice often. So think about things like talking to them often. I know it looks like they can't respond, but they can certainly hear and they will begin to respond to you pretty quickly. Singing songs, cooing to them, all the sorts of, th sorts of things that you'd expect that you would do with a baby. So the sound of your voice is really essential too. And of course, so is your smell. So when you are not with your baby necessarily, you might want to lay them down in the cot or whatever you want to do with them, you can make sure there's something nearby that has your scent on it. So that could be a teddy. I know you have to be careful what you put in with babies, but it could be an item of clothing. Make sure that your scent is near to them at all times. Guys, I hope that helps you. There's a few tips there on bonding with your new baby. How exciting if you have the option potentially to have a new baby. And I hope that helps you. And if it does, then please just hit the subscribe button at the end of the video when you see my face there and give me a thumbs up and I will see you on my next video. Look forward to seeing you then. Goodbye.